Hey everyone, so today I'll answer the most common question I get and that is how do I align HA and RGB images? HA RGB technique gained a, a lot of traction in the past few years and I think we're gonna see a big jump in the near future because there is a new, more affordable screw-on filter available on market from China. The technique I'm gonna show you today can be applied elsewhere too. For example, if you are shooting a meteor shower, you can then go ahead and align those meteors on your base image. But before we get to the technical side of things, there is something I'd like to mention first. The software I'm using is called Origa Registar and it is standalone Windows only software. The second thing is it costs 99 USD. With uh, that out of the way, let's take a look. Before we move to the actual alignment part, we have to prepare our files. I do that in Lightroom, where I make basic white balance and other adjustments, but those are not really important at this stage. Then I export those files, and if I have either RGB panel or HA panel, I will stitch those two. If I have files for stacking, I'll simply stack those. Now let's fire up Auriga register. For today I prepared three examples. The first one is from my recent trip to Socha Valley and here we have our stitched RGB panel. And here is stacked HA file. So I just select those two, drag and drop. And the first important step is that we select our HA image. Then we click on all operations, register, click on match, untick use multiple view mode and click on register. Now let's wait a few seconds. A message will pop up and we simply click on yes. And here we have it, our aligned HA image. So let's go ahead and save it. And I'll show you the alignment in Photoshop. Let's zoom in a little bit and I'll bring down the opacity. And as you can see, the alignment is perfectly done. Now let's close those files and let's move to the second example. Here I have a 180 full arch Milky Way panel and the HA image is two rows vertical panorama. I think this one is also stacked. So let's select those two and once again drag and drop. Because the RGB panel is quite large, it, uh, it's gonna take a few more seconds. So here is the RGB panel and the HA panel. And like before, we simply select the HA panel operations, register, match, untick this one and click on register. For this one we will have to wait, I don't know, 20-30 seconds to be done. Same message pops up, click on yes and uh, let's witness the birth of aligned HA panel. And there we have it. Now let's move to the third and final example. This one is a little bit more interesting one. Here I have two rows. I think I took four images per row with my Sigma Art 28 millimeters. And here is a single image taken with a Samyang 135. 
Here we have Playlist Star Cluster and Perseid Meteor Shower. And the only connection between those two images is uh, Playlist Star Cluster. Now let's select those two again, drag and drop. So let's uh, select the Meteor image, Operations, Register, Match, Antic, Register. Click on yes. And this is it, a easy way to align your meteors with your base meteor image. Three images done in just a few minutes. I've been using Auriga Registar for quite some time now and so far there were only two instances where it failed to make the alignment. One of my panels did not align because I used multiband blending mode in PT GUI. Multiband gives you a much cleaner background, but it can also create double stars. And those double stars are then problem when it comes to the alignment in Auriga Registar. And to fix this, all you have to do is to change the blending mode from multiband to zero overlap. The second failed attempt was when my HA panel was much larger compared to my RGB panel and all I had to do was just crop it a bit down so I had similar looking RGB and HA panels and this then solved the problem for me. While we are on the topic of panoramas, I would like to mention that I use PT GUI only when it comes to stitching. I do not have any experience with, let's say, Microsoft Eyes, Lightroom or any other panorama stitching software. If you are using anything else besides PT GUI, go ahead and download Auriga Registrar from their webpage. You will get an evaluation copy and you will try to make the alignment yourself, so you're gonna see if it works for you or it doesn't. Now, the next step is usually either editing RGB image or panorama or blending HA and RGB. For blending, I will suggest a few tutorials made by other astrophotographers. The first one comes from my astro friend from the Netherlands, Erun, or also known as Starscaper. He made a really simple, easy to understand, easy to follow along tutorial, which is done entirely in Photoshop. The second one comes from the land down under, from Mr. John Rutter. He made a live stream session and he shows how he edits the full Milky Way arch panorama and one of the steps is also blending HA and RGB images. The third one was made by Alan Wallace and you can find it on Patreon. He also made easy to understand, easy to follow along tutorial which is also done entirely in Photoshop. And the last one is also on Patreon, and it comes from Jakob Zachner. He uses Astro Pixel Processor, PixInsight and Photoshop. And his knowledge is on a completely different level. There is simply no guessing. He just knows what the next five steps are going to be. So even if you're not interested solely in HARGB, check him out regardless. He takes you from start to finish on all of his projects and for 15 euros I think uh, the amount of knowledge it's simply worth it. Somehow I do not want to make a blending tutorial because there is no chance I can make it any better than any of those guys I mentioned. And I also don't want to make it just for the sake of content on this YouTube channel which I would much rather just take you out on the field because I think out there I can offer you a much more unique experience. And with that being said, I hope we will go out soon. Take care and bye bye.